through the 13th. Um, the 5th is their Pride Day at, and I always get the hall's name wrong, mm. Fanuel? Fanuel? Um, I, no? Okay. Well, all the folks that are familiar with Boston, forgive me because this is a really famous hall. This is in the Boston Marketplace. You work in Massachusetts, Renee? How do I pronounce this? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, Fanuel Hall, or F-A-N-E-U-I-L. Yes, exactly. It's, yeah. it's in, it's, it's, I, I know. Anyway, nonetheless. That, uh, see, and, well, uh, on the 30th of June, or her name is Sally Tamak. She's a coordinator of quality for the uh, Hartford chapter, the Women's Rights and Opportunities in Connecticut which she should be on the show. Right. Uh, June 30th. Yes. Yep. Right. Right. Yeah. The, um, so, so June 5th, in addition to Harford Pride, is one of the Pride events in Boston. Um, and they, they continue to go on the 6th, 7th, 8th. Um, there's a Pride show on June 8th, a Pride Idol on Wednesday, June 9th. Um, this is all in Boston. Um, the official Dyke March in Boston on Friday, June 11th. On um, June 12th, they have their, um, their, their big Boston Pride Parade. So June 12th would be the big, big day in Boston. Boston Pride Festival and Parade, 10 a.m. through 9 p.m. if you want to go to the after club, after parade parties, um, block parties. They have block parties in Jamaica Plains and um, Boston, Stewart Street and, and Jamaica Plains. Um, also on June 12th, I believe, is Rhode Island Pride. It might be the following weekend. Um, they've moved to a new location on South Water Street. Um, you can go to prideri.com uh, um, to get information about uh, details about the Providence Pride. And New York Pride actually sort of rounds out the end of the month. Um, June 19th and June 27th through that week. June 19th, they have uh, in New York City at um, Rumsey Playfield Central Park. They have a rally scheduled, um, 72nd and 5th Avenue from 4 to 8 p.m. And then the following weekend, uh, Sunday, June 27th from 11 to 7, is their big Pride Fest on Hudson Street between Abingdon, Abingdon Square and West 14th Street. This is their annual street fair. Pride Fest seeks to bring together local residents, families, community leaders, and area businesses to celebrate in the street. The 18th annual Pride Fest in New York City. Cool. So throughout June, all around the country, there are all kinds of Pride Fests going on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We're going to make Hartford. We're going to make sure. Hartford. For um, sure. It's, it's an interesting season, Pride. Um, there's, a lot of, there's been a lot of controversy about... Um, some of the antics and behavior and such that have gone on at various different pride events, which are sort of counterproductive, but you know there some of it some of the stuff, <laughs> some of the stuff that I have heard is probably um, not shedding a great light on the community but but there is there there there, there is uh, it was we, we had a caller once before several times before ask about the importance of coming out annually the the question gets asked whether these kinds of pride events are still needed and and I think the assumption is that pride events are only for people in the GLBT community and if you've been integrated why do you need a pride event right but right. The, the reality is that these pride events are really are and really have grown into um, being proud of who you are whatever you your orientation your heritage your background your country of origin um, it's about bringing the diversity in the community together and being proud of who we are as a community. Um, and uh, we actually have a, a, a yes, clip. There is a, um, uh, uh, an organization called uh, Take Back Pride, a grassroots group that um, uh, recently um, interviewed, um, let's see, Marty Gould Cummings asked the stars of the 55th Annual Drama Desk Awards what pride means to them in honor of the new grassroots group Take Back Pride. This is just a, a short little video, about two minutes. Um, 
And it just sort of gives you an idea of what the Pride season really does mean to all of us. It's not just a, uh, an excuse to go out and have a big party. It's not just for the GLBT community. Right. Um, so we'll get Reggie to roll that, and we'll be back in a minute. Uh, we're coming up on Gay Pride Month here in New York. Yes. Uh, and I know you're a huge supporter of, of equal rights. So yes. what does pride mean to you? Pride? That's a good question. Pride means to me, I think, uh, being comfortable in your own skin. Very well said. I think that's what it is for me. There it is. Being yeah. comfortable in your own skin. That's it. What does pride mean to you? Well, I think the most important thing that we have to remember about pride is that it's got to come from within. You know, it's an individual kind of thing. We can get out on floats and scream and woo out of the closets and into the streets. But if you don't feel it here, and that's what, you know, especially with kids your age, you're obviously very proud, you know. And that's, you know, that's it. <laughs> it's got to come from within. And that's what I think is so important that young gay men and women have to realize. So... Well, that's wonderful. You're a true leader for our community, and God bless you. And I'm going to walk down that pink carpet with you. What does pride mean to you? Pride means um, truly just uh, being absolutely grounded in who you are, and just letting that explode out into the world like a real, like a, like a, like a, I don't know, explode. What would explode? Explode. Um, like a gorgeous tomato. Okay. <laughs> so that's what pride is to me. Pride is a, a big, gorgeous, gorgeous tomato. tomato. <laughs> pride is the ability to just be normal and enjoy being who you are, no matter what that is. I think it's an amazing time to celebrate our diversity. It's an amazing time to be proud of who we are and to not take any more excuses for the kind of uh, inequality that's still going on. That's what it means to me. Keep fighting. Keep fighting for what's right. Yes. Well, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. It's just a nice little uh, clip. Yeah. The uh, I, I, the uh, Leslie Jordan and Laura Linney had some really good answers. You know, the 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 fact that pride in yourself really does come from the inside. You know, if the, the self acceptance piece we've talked about at, at yeah. length on this show. That the key to all of this, to any, to dealing with anything you're dealing with, is that self acceptance. Yes, and so um, important. You know, before you can really go out and 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 sort of participate in any of these parties that celebrate that, it's it's it, that you know, in in the in the oh, nuts, I forget the name of it now, but the the hierarchy of needs. Mm. You know, the top end of it there is the self actualization, and that doesn't come without. Uh, you know, looking at yourself and accepting who you are and where you are and how do I meet those goals that I set for myself and and there for anybody who does that in the GLBT community or outside the GLBT community you really should be proud of the effort you've put into making yourself a, a, a wonderful better person and you should come out to one of the pride events and yeah. and celebrate with, with, with all of us and have cheesecake and have cheesecake <laughs> Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be good. You know, it's it's um, it's a good time of the year, and hopefully the weather will be nice, and um, and we'll have a good time. So yep. I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully Andrew will come, and um, it'll be great. And partly because it's Pride season, but this is a little different. Um, Cine Studio at Trinity College and Outfilm Connecticut are hosting the 23rd Connecticut Gay and Lesbian Film Festival. Mm. Do you have um, a rundown of the films? I left the detailed list at home. Uh, it's six pages. Is it? <laughs> but um, uh, it runs from May 27th through June 5th. Um, so I think that's tomorrow. The first uh, movie shows tomorrow night, and then they have a big opening night party on Friday. Go figure. Mm. Um, and every night, 